presenting how the electrical grid operator, Bedash, is leveraging ADD's Cognian IoT solutions to address their long-standing challenges in the area of grid resiliency. But behind this story, there's another one, that of the think big, start small approach to unlocking the benefits of cloud technology whoops, in brownfield environments, so in industries that need to do more with less, industries that are looking for the 20% tweaks that will bring them the 80% outcomes. I'll be guiding you today on this journey uh, with the support of Dr. Philippe Lottier. On my side, I'm from ABB, an electrification leader whose purpose is to enable a more sustainable and resource-efficient future. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Philippe Lottier. I'm a senior solutions architect at AWS, mm -hmm. supporting ABB in the IoT and cloud journey. And I have the distinct pleasure of hosting today our customer, Bedash, who is here with us. And so feel free to come by the stand to speak with them. So Bedash is one of the electrical operators, electrical grid operators around the world that bring us power. And it's really easy to take them for granted. Here in Germany, we experience on average 18 seconds of power outage a year. I mean, that's basically nothing. But the job of grid operators is getting more challenging by the day. When we think about their business, I like to use the analogy of a water network. We have power plants pushing water into the system and consumers pulling it out. The job of the grid operator is to maintain this balance while at the same time ensuring that the network is resilient, meaning that it can cope with and quickly recover from any faulty pipes. Now, why is this becoming challenging? On the one hand, we're experiencing an increase both in demand and supply, and those piping network, it's getting more faulty with increasing extreme weather events due to climate change, as well as aging infrastructure. And it's not as if you can just rip out the plumbing and start over, right? That would take way too much time and money that grid operators don't have. So instead, they need to be smart about how they use and modernize the electrical infrastructure that they already have. They need to think about how to do more with less. Doing more with less is possible if we start from the customer pain point. We start by the result. We build this big idea of what great solution looks like. But if we try to implement this solution from day one, we do the opposite. We will not be able to do more with less. So we have to peel this solution and get it to the core of the very few features that will bring most of the value for the customers. From there, we need to accelerate implementation and generate the outcomes as fast as possible. And here, the technology choice will guide how much effort you will be uh, required to, to, to implement this solution. But before we get there, let's look at what uh, Bedash use case is. So who is Bedash? Bedash operates the electrical grid on the European side of Istanbul, and they bring power to over 5 million customers. To do so, they operate a network that spans over 10,000 individual sites that house over 12,000 circuit breakers. So these are essentially the valves that can be open and closed to direct power flow. And to maintain and operate that huge network, they have a team of only 200 skilled technicians. So given that ratio between the 12,000 circuit breakers and the 200 individuals, it's clear that Bidash needs to be smart about the way that they operate. And they're always looking for ways to improve that. It was in one of those collaboration workshops uh, that they brought up a long-standing challenge that was identified as a perfect use case for this think big, start small approach to deploying cloud technology. So rather than try to replace or rework entire existing systems or processes, the objective of this start small phase of collaboration is to make an existing process slightly easier to demonstrate that what Bidash can do how they can do more with their data with less time and money. This is what we will be exploring in the following slides. So the process that Bidash had been struggling to optimize for quite a while was that of disturbance record collection and analysis. When abnormal events occur in the network, specialized equipment located in the substations generate a series of measurements, a kind of a, a log file called disturbance records. 
These records are like fingerprints of the event, and in the hand of power engineers with specialized equipment and specialized knowledge, they can be interpreted to provide information like the exact nature of the event and its root cause. So why do we care? Each one of these records is like a pixel, a snapshot of a weakness in the system. And when they're pulled all together, they can form a full HD, a high resolution image for the grid operator that shows them where the weaknesses are in their grid that need to be addressed uh, as highest priority to, rem to rem maintain their resiliency. Because remember, grid operators have limited resources. So they need to have these, this data as a foundation for their investment decisions. Binash understands the value of these records, and they have invested in 7,000 measurement points across their grid. The challenge was then accessing all of that data. Binash had tried in the past several strategies, including old-fashioned site visits to download the information, and also installing automated collection software in their own servers. But each time, they'd encountered the issue of scale, how this can grow to over 10,000 sites. So for this start small phase of the collaboration, we had essentially two objectives. The first was to reduce the time it takes to access those, access those records from hours to minutes. And secondly, to do that in a way that scales effortlessly from a single site up to the entire network. So let's now take a look at a demo of the Power Engineer dashboard that was developed in this collaboration. Before we start the demo, I'd like to highlight that the content of what we see here was entirely defined by Bedash with the guidance of ABB power and user interface experts. So this is not an out-of-the-box standardized product, but rather a tailored IoT solution that focuses on addressing the specific needs of our customer. Here we see, to start off, the substation explorer experience with a map of the city and a red point for each connected substation. Now, when we think about this experience, uh, now we only have a small set of sites, but if we think about this experience for 10,000 sites, it's important that we be able to limit the period of time and also the operational area for the users that's logged in. So that's what we see here. We're limiting now the period of time, and then we have on the left-hand side a navigation that allows the operator to, to filter out the areas and types of substations that are relevant for them. Now, they won't usually have to do this step. This is something that will anyways be integrated within the user administration. Okay. Next, we see here the, uh, the substation dashboard experience. Here in the center, we can see the disturbance record widget. This is the focus of the application. In the central widget, we can see a list of the generated files, and with one click, they can be open and viewed. So this was the main purpose of this application. The pain point was to be able to access these records in minutes rather than the hours that they'd encountered before, and we're able to achieve this in a very straightforward manner with this two-level user experience. Instead of having hours to access this data, now it's just three clicks from that substation explorer. So beyond the core function of accessing the records, Bedash had also two additional requests. One was to be able to have the contextual information to put that disturbance record data into a larger view, things such as a single line diagram and these alarm diagnostics. The next thing that they wanted to do was also uh, handle all the acknowledgments of the disturbance record files. Here we can see that now. And behind this dashboard, we also have an automated uh, escalation for disturbance records. If they're not acknowledged within a certain period of time, there will be an escalation to the operational area manager. The second request was to be able to do bulk downloads of that data not only to be able to access it via this dashboard, but also uh, pull it out, out of the cloud. Here we can see how we have the historical reports page in which one can select multiple recorders, a period of time, and then download a report to be able to, to get a bulk uh, extract of the log files generated in that period of time. So the last thing that I'd like to show here is not potentially the sexiest page, but in my opinion, one of the most important. 
and that is how we scale this application. So it's really easy to do something for a single site. The challenge is getting something that will scale easily and quickly to, for example, 10,000 sites. Via this page, we have a very simple mechanism to pull data onto the dashboard once the IoT gateway has been provisioned. Hmm? So via substation management, we can see we can download a sample template. And then all it takes is five cells in an Excel sheet. Once that's uploaded, the data that's available on the cloud will become visible to the operator. So that's what's currently in operation to A, reduce the time necessary to access these files from hours to minutes, and B, do it in a way that's, scaleless, uh, that's effortless, effortlessly scalable. I'll now hand over to Philippe to explain a little bit more uh, about how this was developed. So in the, in the process of going from this thing big idea to a minimum implementation where we can very quickly generate value, we had to make a lot of compromise. We can't take on all the features that we thought about uh, the first time. There's two places we never make a compromise. It's security and privacy. And here, the type of effort that would be involved to, to, to meet the compliance requirement for security and privacy will depend on the technology you choose and the partners that you selected. And the partnership between ABB, AWS, and Eurotech provided a great value to the customer, Bedash, because mm -hmm. ABB has the, the, a long expertise in implementing certified development process for software and embedded software. Uh, they are the uh, first, one of the uh, sole global player to have a device certification center. Eurotech provides gateways that meet the most stringent IoT standards, and AWS operates on very various markets with very high bar in terms of security that benefits from all customers. So all together, we could very quickly meet all the compliance requirements from the customer in Turkey and start delivering value. This effort also depends on the technology you choose for the implementation in the cloud. For instance, if you decide to develop using virtual machines, the, 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 the update of your virtual machine, the patching of the OS, the networking configuration, the encryption are all elements that you will have to manage. If you decide to go with serverless, all these aspects of compliance and keeping things up to date will be taken care of for you. You will be able to focus most of your effort on developing your application and bringing value to your customers. And that's what ABB chose to implement this particular uh, application. They focus on the data and on the business logic to provide the value for Bedash to customer. Finally, we shouldn't forget about the end user. How easily this end user will be able to, uh, to adopt this new solution. In this particular case, uh, the, the electrical engineer at Bedash have been mm. using a, a software for many years that is dedicated to analyzing this type of disruption uh, record uh, documents. It was out of question to change this particular aspect of their work. Fortunately, uh, the AWS Cloud also has solutions that can bring any desktop application into a web browser and being able to use it from anywhere. So not only it facilitates the daily work of the engineers, it also facilitates the daily work of the IT teams that don't have to, man to, to manage multiple installations of this application. And it also simplifies how you can implement very strong privacy and security policies for all this data that is traveling across different locations. Hmm. So what does this mean for Bidash after this start small phase of collaboration? Well, First of all, we were able to demonstrate that data from their site can be pulled into the cloud and used with zero operational interruptions, which is essential to a grid operator. Second thing is that there's a very low learning curve. Onboarding onto this platform is seamless. And then finally, most importantly here, we were able to achieve the objective of reducing the friction that the engineers encounter to access the disturbance record files that they need to analyze. Removing friction means less frustration and overall happier people, which in itself is a great outcome. 
but where do we go from here? I'd now like to give you a sneak peek into a next step and a critical one on our, on our path to the Think Big Lighthouse vision. In the second demo, we will go back to the substation dashboard that we were on, but we'll explore what happens when we click the second action button. What we can see here is the training interface for the AVB causal analysis machine learning model, which is essentially a model that can be trained to identify the exact nature of the record and the root cause without any intervention from a manual operator. So just think about it. In the near future, there won't be a need for an individual to access and analyze those 250 recordings per day, something that would anyways be humanly impossible. Instead, these records will be automatically collected and analyzed using the power of the cloud, leading to a data lake that can be leveraged to further improve business. So where is this lighthouse vision taking us? We've seen that very soon the electrical engineers at Bidash won't have to analyze every single uh, disturbance record files. But what's after that? After that, we can reconfigure all this measurement equipment to be a lot more sensitive and start to detect micro-events. Micro-events are events happening on the power grid that do not yet generate a failure or an outage. From this data, this massive number, we're speaking about thousands of files per day, from this massive amount of data, we can use a BB machine learning model and AWS artificial intelligence services to perform analysis, correlation, and help the electrical engineer focus their attention on where it's important to look. From this new knowledge and additional data provided by Generative AI, these people will be able to work from a reactive mode where they need to fix a, a problem to a predictive mode where they can, in advance, fix problems that did not yet happen. And that's where our Lighthouse project is taking us and where Bedash is accompanying ABB and AWS. OK, thank you very much for your time. This is just one example of the exciting collaborations going on at ABB and AWS. So please come to visit us at our booth in the Smart Products area to learn more about ways that we're helping operators of a utility grid or commercial facility managers or renewable and energy storage operators to improve their operations. So let's have a discussion about how you can do more with less using the ABB Cognion tailored IoT solutions. Thank you. Mm.